Deadlock has officially been announced. So what happens now? Well, first of all, uh, in the beginning, when you just entered the, you know, pre-alpha stage playtest thing, whatever the hell that was, you were greeted by a message asking to please not share anything with the public since this is a playtest and not at all the final product. But it seemed pretty final to me. Everything seems like they're kind of in place. There's very little things that doesn't seem right. You know, it, it seems like a basically complete game without some maybe game modes or whatever the case may be with that but now that it's announced you know kind of what to expect you can see kind of like a trailer coming up so why not show you the game and why not show you some characters And why not show you some gameplay? So what is Deadlock? It is a 6v6 MOBA kind of lane third person shooter game. It's like a Dota Team Fortress to Overwatch to kind of mixture. It is a weird monstrosity, but it kind of works. Like the game itself is astonishing. It's, it's weird how good it actually comes together and how good it feels to play the game. Now, First of all, I want to give you guys a fair warning. This game will take up some of your time. Even a bot match can take up to like half an hour just to play one game. So just like any other Dota game or kind of like an Overwatch game, it does take up some of your time. So keep that in mind whenever you are like planning to play the game. Second of all, can you guys actually get to the game? Well, Yes, you can. It, the same rule still applies. If you have a friend on your Steam friends list that has the game, you can just ask them to invite you to the playtest because it is friends only invite right now. And I think the reason why they decided to go that route is they had this idea of having this super secret game, but then they decided to make it a friends invite only playtest, which means that no, it's not actually that super secret and no company would really have a game super secret that is invites only from friends that was just a marketing ploy i'm almost sure of it it makes it feel more like you can't really get your hands on it right so you want to play the game more and it builds up some of the hype for the game just because it is friends only invite to the playtest if they really wanted to keep this a secret they would have had like a limited number of players that they invited themselves to play the playtest and gone from there but as you can see, they do not really want to keep it a secret anymore. And I think they announced the game because of all the like crazy leaks. Like the, the sheer number of leaks that's out there of this game is crazy. It's astonishing, actually. So they are just putting the game out there now. They have the playtest still available, still on the go. And I'm pretty sure they're going to improve in a lot of things in the game. So stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more updates on Deadlock. I will be covering the updates as they happen and as the gameplay and stuff changes, I will kind of give you guys like a rundown of what happens there. Also, I'm going to be playing this game on stream as soon as I possibly can. But for now, just enjoy some of this little gameplay. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what is happening. So first of all, you spawn with your team and the enemy team in a like six v6 situation where you're standing in the same courtyard and there you can kind of communicate with your team up until everybody has loaded into the game from there the game will begin in five four three two and one you will be then transported toward the lane the game has picked for you you do not have to stay in that lane but it does help because you guys are allocated to specific lanes for a reason according to your playstyle and the character that you are playing i i don't know if it's random yet it might be but it does seem like I am kind of thrown in the same kind of lanes depending on which character I play. Then from there you have your creeps or little monsters or soldiers or whatever that you can defeat while trying to build up some money to, in quotations, level up. If you don't really level up, right? You actually just get more money to buy more items and your level or the strength of your character is kind of based on how much you have made. You do get a lot more from defeating an enemy hero, but you do also get a lot from defeating the creeps. Now you have other options as well. You can go into the tunnels and into the streets where you can find other monsters spawned in the game and they do give you quite a bit of, of currency that you can use to upgrade your own character. 
from there later in the game in the mid game as you have progressed through some of the stages you will defeat some of the towers that do kind of attack you they're like kind of sentient things that wake up as soon as you get close to it or your creeps or monsters get close to it it's the same style as dota so it's the same principle if you have played that game you will know how to do everything in this game it's just from a third person point of view that is literally the difference are there actually any overpowered characters at the moment yes it is still in the playtest so there's going to be a lot of overpowered characters and a lot of characters that don't really mean much one of them i have seen is the melee only characters they tend to be a lot stronger than a lot of the other characters and then there's characters that use like machine guns and stuff that can shoot a lot of bullets really fast and that tend to be a little bit more overpowering than some of the other characters but i think you can possibly play pretty well with any character as long as you can learn the character's playstyle and play according to how that character actually plays because you do have classes you do have your more, more damaging characters you do have your melee characters you're like sniper class characters you have your healers or support characters so there's everything in between right and then you have the help of your teammates and that is basically it. Now the objective of this game is to get to the enemy base and then destroy their like sentinel being. I, I cannot for the life of me remember what you actually call it in the game. I will show you guys on screen. But that is basically what you need to do. You need to destroy that and as soon as you have done that in the enemy base, you win the match or vice versa. You can lose the match if they do it to you. If you guys want any more information on the game, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see another interesting few tips of the game just click on the video on the screen right now right peace out